if you have money and you have a mirror plus you have the Bible then let the magic begin greetings to all of humanity it's really a joy it's my pleasure it's my honor as usual to always bring this message of emancipation to you whereby I'm pointing to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity and that is why today I want to speak to you concerning money the mirror and the Bible by teaching you how the money mirror works and in doing so I want to let you first know that these secrets were taught by Abdullah the black mystic from Ethiopia to Neville Garden and many today are teaching the work of Neville Garden that was passed on by our ancestor Abdullah and here am I doing the same because it's the same energy speaking about energy I want to let you know that this money that I'm holding right here it's energy being transmuted in a form of matter that you can contact it physically but the real money is the cosmic money now also this mirror that you're seeing it gives a reflection and it is because a photon from an angle of light where you can behold your reflection and your photon your neuron and so on and also the Bible this book that I'm holding here it's a book of magic that is why you're told in Romans 4.17 that you must call those things that be not as though they are and also you're told in Hebrews 11 that faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen therefore everything that you see it was false in the unseen and now be made seen Okay, I would have shown you a mirror that was made by hands. But I'm going to show you a mirror that was not made by human hands. As a matter of fact, you came into this world with the mirror I'm going to show you. And everyone has that mirror. It's your two eyes right here this is the mirror to your soul this is the mirror to your higher self this area is a portal whereby the projection of the inner world is projected on the outside so this is a mirror okay and so because it's a mirror you can use this mirror to mirror anything or to give the other reflection of anything so I'm going to show you what I'm speaking about for example this money that I'm holding right here I can look at this money like this tear it like this and see the other version of the money as I look at it so I can see this physical money and the imaginary money okay and I encourage you also to practice to do that first before you try to use this technique that I'm going to teach you so that you realize that as long as you have money a Bible and a mirror that you have a money mirror and that you yourself is a money mirror okay now you can take this money and you can rest it on any, any surface and you can look at it like this just like how I'm looking at it right now and I'm not seeing one money, I'm seeing two money. I'm seeing the shadow and I'm seeing the reality as I stare at it. So remember, you have to stare it and keep the staring at it. And then you will realize that you see two. Okay? So when you see that, you will realize that really and truly, as I would have said, that I is really a, a mirror. Okay? And then you will realize while the Bible tells you in, I think it's, 
1 Corinthians that you see in a mirror darkly, but now you see face to face, teaching you of the conception you would have had about yourself before, but now you have the right concept of yourself. You can really identify that you are truly a magician. And that's what I'm teaching you, how to discover that you are a magician and we are here to do the work as a magician in terms of relearning that everything is actually alchemy and that we are alchemists and that how everything comes from spirit to matter and how we have the power to create our reality consciously whereby we can take something from spirit to matter. So with this money, okay, you can hold this money as I'm holding it here and feel it because it has a distinct feel. Also, you can smell this money because it has a special order, okay? And you can look at this money and as you look at this money, you can telegraph this money, okay? Also, you can photograph this money. I want to say telegraph, right? It's like you're sending a message to the brain when you look at this money. For example, telephone is communication, communicating from a distance. Okay? And television is you beholding a vision from a distance. And they use that program to program you. But a telephone and a television is actually in you. Because all these things, they were forced a thought. They were forced an idea. And they all exist in the human imagination. So as I said before, you're going to photograph this money in your mind, in your mentality. Because your real money is your mentality. It's your currency. Okay? And so when you do that, you do that by studying this money. You look at it, look at it, look at it until you can actually memorize it in your imagination which means you can close your eye and you can see this money okay and when you close your eye and you can see this money then you can count this money in your imagination according to the amount that you so desire to manifest in your life and it can manifest in many different ways it can be through an idea it can be through you using your talents your gift or whatever but it will all manifest by you having a desire to do something that will uplift humanity. And I'm saying that because I believe that's the most productive way or the most productive way to think when you want to manifest money using this technique, knowing that yourself, that you are a mirror and that you are a photocopying in machine and you can photocopy any amount of money that you want to photocopy because it all begins here. Now, before I go to the actual mirror, I want to share also with you that all money is printed in what they call like a mint where they print the money. And it is a mirror, okay, that they are, they are taking actually one money and duplicate that money many times. So you are actually the duplicator. You are actually the multiplier. All of those things comes out of man. It all comes out of the imagination. So teaching you that your imagination is, is the real money printing machine. And there's no greater money printing machine than your imagination. That is why you have to learn that this life that you see in here right now and experiencing, it's all a mirror. It's all a gene. Okay? And you behold a reflection of everything that is within you. So when, 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 when you think of the place that they print money, think of it as a reflection of something in you or a power in you. When you look at a photocopying machine, let it be a reflection of the power that is within you. And that is what I'm really teaching you right now. So when you look at a mirror also, let it be the reflection, right, of a power that is within you. So you are the reflector. Okay? 
You are the perceiver beholding the perception. You are the creator beholding the creation. So in this time, when there is economic crisis and many people believe in things like depression because they do not understand how to create money within themselves, many people are going to become depressed, many people are going to be without a job and all of these things are going to happen to them. And as long as they remain ignorant, they wouldn't know what to do. Okay, but here's a man here who can turn on the light and teach you what to do. Now, when the mirror is concerned, I would encourage you to get a hundred dollar bill. Right now, I do not have a hundred dollar bill right here because this inspiration came up on me this morning and I decided I'm going to share this wisdom with you. Okay, so I have a twenty dollars here. Okay, so I'm using this twenty dollars. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to go before the mirror. I have a mirror in my bathroom. I believe everyone that is listening to me right now, you have a mirror in front of your bathroom. And I'm going to take this one money and I'm going to multiply it to as many times that I want in looking in the mirror. Okay? So you're looking in the mirror right now. I'm, I, I have my camera turned to me in a way that I can see myself. Okay? So as, as if I'm looking in a mirror. Okay? I'm going to take this one this one twenty dollars okay and i'm gonna hold it like this like first and then i'm gonna bring it to the mirror and count one two three four five six and so on in the mirror and when you hold the money in your in your hand like this before the mirror remember it will be a hundred dollars okay so let's say you decide that you want to come say ten thousand or twenty thousand dollars in, in, in your in your mirror holding this one hundred dollar each time you count it you remove it then you bring back the same one now your subconscious mind do not know is the same one hundred dollars that you're using but as long as you send that communication to your subconscious mind through you looking at it through your eye and you get in the reflection back in the mirror your subconscious mind would you receive it as that feeling of having that amount that you so desire and it's gonna give you back that which you so okay so as I would have said before you're gonna use a hundred dollars and you're gonna take your time bring it up and count then bring it up again and count and bring it up again and count come to the very amount that you so desire to manifest in your life and make sure to do this exercise in the night just before you're about to go to bed so let's say it is ten thousand dollars you count in the mirror by taking the one hundred dollars and you keep counting it you keep counting it so you count it to, to say a uh, hundred times which would be ten thousand dollars okay then you proceed and to go to bed and you lie on an area of your body whereby you do not fall asleep so easily okay and you close your eyes and count the same amount of money in your imagination okay you can count it for one time two times or three times or whatever until you fall asleep you should be far you should fall asleep counting this money that you so desire in your imagination and it's gonna come to you to so my brother my sisters everyone in this world is a money mirror and you also have a physical money mirror made of hands but you have to know how to use this mirror along with the bible because the Bible is the mirror of your life because it is your spiritual autobiography that must be interpreted psychologically. As time go by and I continue to teach the Bible and open up the Bible because I would, I would definitely go into some life and do some life Bible study with you. I'm going to break down these things even more and show you how to really operate in your power. I'm just waiting on something to get uh, to to put in with the computer so I will get the, the internet straight from my box. 
to the to the equipment that I'm using instead of using the, the, the Wi-Fi. Okay, that's that's the reason why I'm gonna start my, my life as yet because I can't get it here in my country so I have to add it and I already add it and I'm waiting on it. And I really really wanna help you guys all you listening to me because I believe deep in my heart that it is the time for us to really get in touch with our magical self, especially in these times where they are mashing the economy down to a low, low place to bring people in into a, a frequency of stress and frustration and so on, that it is quite needed. And I have to be honest with you, it was just this, this morning I received that inspiration and it, it, come, it came to me and I decided I'm going to share it with you and I haven't even, you know, been putting it to work for my own self. I'm speaking about the one in the mirror itself when you bring the money up like that in the mirror. Okay, I've used the other one before and I've also taught a young lady how to use it and she used it. And uh, the next day she got $3,000 and at another point in time she used, she used the same technique for $100,000. And in four days, she manifested $100,000, but she had to reject it because I'm going to share a little uh, secret with you. The way how it was coming to her, it was coming to her in, in terms of a contract to do pornography. But the reason why it was coming to her like that is because she was feeding herself and pornography. When I really get down to the nitty gritty of it and really question her, she was feeding herself and pornography. So do not indulge yourself in anything that you have any judgment towards. Okay, that is why I did a video called How to Overcome Pornography. And I tell you, to overcome pornography, you have to look at it without any judgment towards yourself or to those who are involved in it. So do not get involved in anything that you're not well convicted within yourself about. You understand? Do not do it while you're thinking that it's wrong or right. Don't. Okay? Because it will come to you based on what you, you normally feed on. So if you're a negative person and you love money and you love to chase after money and you wanna do you wanna do manifestation technique, the money don't come by and cause you a lot of problems. Okay? So my brother and my sisters, before any, let me just remind you that everything that I'm teaching you, you gotta learn to read between the lines. And you have to understand the principle of life, the golden rule of life is to do unto others as you will have them do unto you. That is why I'm teaching you how to look into the true mirror of life and to look into the true law of liberty whereby you are set free. And that is the message that Abdullah wanted to convey to all of humanity. That's what I'm saying to you. Do not get caught up in just chasing after money first, but seek to know who you are first and get in touch with your inner self and that's why i always say to you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity and i also always teach you matthew 6 33 that says to seek ye first the kingdom of god is righteousness and all these things will be added unto you seek to know thyself first and learn to change yourself first before you expect to see great changes in your life in terms of abundance and prosperity so with that being said i want to thank you very much i want to say to you if what i'm saying to you if it's really resonating with you and it really makes sense to you and you want to use the mirror technique remember that you need a mental diet you need a mental cleansing first and remember the golden rule of life is to do unto others as you have them do unto you and let me remind you also concerning the law of compensation it says to give and it shall come back to you good measure press down shaken together and running over shall men give in to your bosom that is why i i was not hesitant to give or to share this message with you as i would have said before that i just received this inspiration this morning concerning the one in the mirror okay as in the, this physical 
mirror i'm speaking about so let me say to you if this is the first time that you're listening and you haven't subscribed already to subscribe to like to comment or uh, to share this message but before i leave you i want to let you know that this message i bring to you that it is the single eye message of self-realization of which matthew 6 22 says that if your eye be single your whole body be full of light and my brothers and my sisters have not been that a single eye would have awakened within me and opened in me after I would have felt that great mighty shaking and uh, ascend like a fiery being having heard the unholy wind and rolled the stone away and came out of my skull and became invisible I would not be here bringing this message to you saying to you that do not let anyone ever deceive you by making you believe that the symbol on the US dollar with the eye above the pyramid is an evil symbol no, it is the symbol of the all-seeing eye of God in you, who is your imagination, for you will have an awakened imagination. Also, it is the eye of the mystic, the eye of the prophet, the eye of the seer, the ones who are here to teach you how to discover your higher self. That is why I always say to you that when you have the experience, you come to realize it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. And that is why I always give you the symbol of the single eye saying to you. Now, when you realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N, that you will also realize that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. For the sun parallels the human imagination, the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. Also, so the sun parallels the human imagination, the human imagination parallels the sun. Also, you're told in Psalm 84, 11, that the Lord their God is a sun and a shield and no good thing will he withhold from you. And the sun has never withhold any good thing from you. Also, the sun is what powers all of humanity. Now, Malachi chapter 4 and verses 2 also tells you that the sun of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings and because that sun has risen in me i'm bringing healing to all of humanity that's why my encouragement to you is to use your mind power which is your solar power your sun power your god power your creative power which is the sexual power to multiply and create your every desire use that power peace i'm out